me nervous. Loki, Mr. I never doubted you. Yes, Geralt? Back there at the Kingfisher. Oh, you really want to talk about it? Maybe I should get Yennefer. Wouldn't want her to miss any of this. <sighs> no, you're right. Bad idea. <laughs> you're all aware City is exceptional. I am alone only in knowing to what extent. Or maybe you're just obsessed. Geralt. You and Triss have a good time? Splendid. We finally got the chance to talk. What about? Everything but you. Geralt of Rivia is no longer a subject of any interest to either of us. Ever think about the past? About your time with the hunt? At times, I'm amazed we survived. Eridan's not usually one to leave witnesses behind. That's just it. He didn't. Lost my memory when I escaped the hunt. Ah, yes. Your famous amnesia. You didn't have it? For a short time only. Once the Emperor's mages got their hands on me, my memory quickly returned. When the hunt had you, hope they didn't hurt you. Even if they did, I've no memory of it. The whole time's but a string of phantom images. Blood and fire. A wild chase through different worlds. All shrouded in fog. Though I do remember you coming for me, trading your life for mine. I hadn't the chance to thank you then. You'd have done the same for me. I'm touched by your certainty. But you've yet to tell me how you escaped them. Wouldn't mind knowing that myself. There are times I remember rushing forward, red riders around me. Next thing I know, I'm in the woods at the foot of Kaer Morin. That's it. What did Aridin want from you, exactly? The same thing he wanted from you. You don't recall? Draw a blank on most of my time with him. We were bait, Geralt. Both of us. Eridan believed Ciri would come for us sooner or later, and he would capture her. Fortunately, she didn't fall for it. How do you go from being the Emperor's hostage to being his ally? One day, the door of my cell opened, and instead of seeing the usual officer, I saw Emir. He promised to release me and grant me free reign of the Imperial Treasury, provided I did what he asked. He told you about Ciri, and you accepted his offer. Why? Shared aims make for strange bedfellows. I knew I had to find Ciri before Eridan did. And if any man had the power and the means to help me, it was the Emperor. Besides, once all said and done, he is her father. Why didn't you look for me after you'd recovered your memory and your freedom? I assumed you would recover quickly and find me first. You had mages to help you. I was on my own. Well, not entirely. Besides, I knew you'd fled the hunt. Eridan would never have let you go. He'd erased my memory, but you escaped. It was wholly possible he hadn't had the chance with you. And there were your Witcher mutations. I expected they'd stave off any serious injury. Still can't get something out of my mind. What? Thanks, Yen. See you later. Yes, Geralt? Margarita any better? I managed to accelerate tissue regeneration. She's feeling much better. In fact, we must bring Eridin here as soon as possible. Otherwise, I'm afraid these sorceresses of yours will start fighting amongst themselves. Went by your laboratory. I trust you did not make a mess. Didn't mention you were the NL Elves' chief source of knowledge about Ciri's abilities. I didn't mention many things. Fortunately, they're no longer important. Your experiments with the gene, elder blood, that's not important. I pursued those studies to protect Ciri, to protect Lara Doran's blood in whomever's veins it courses.
ran into someone at your lab. Did you not? Mm hmm. A she elf. Claimed you hate Siri. So, how's that fit you trying to protect her, whatever the cost? Not at all. You don't really expect me to confess my feelings to you, do you? Once we use the Sunstone, what makes you think Aridin won't figure things out? I doubt he'll think the Elves of the White Fleet suddenly long to see him. We can alter the signal emitted by the Sunstone. Unlikely Aridin will recognize its origin. It's not the only artifact to possess this power. There are others? Great. Now mind telling me why I had to scour Skellige looking for this one? The Sunstone was the easiest to find, believe me. From the look of things, pretty soon Siri won't need your help anymore. Nor yours. True. She'll do whatever she wants, and I'll support her. What about you? Ready to let her live her own life? I shan't force her to do anything, if that's your question. Charming world you and El have got. Could easily fall in love with the place. Tell me, how do you do it? Sit around playing flute, painting rutting unicorns and gorgeous landscapes, building ornately sculpted towers? And then you murder us, without batting an eye, without a hint of guilt. How? Do you humans feel guilt when you murder Enshe elves? Or dwarves? Or dryads? We are the same. Simply because we both firmly believe others are inferior. Tell me something more about Caranthir. Know him well? Know him? I reared him. Raised, don't you mean? No, Geralt. I began shaping him long before he was born. For centuries, I brought together pairs of elves manifesting certain abilities, those able to manipulate time and space. He is the result of these efforts. Caranthia, a golden child. Golden child who grew up to be a criminal. You imprisoned Ciri the first time you met her. Now you protect her while fighting against your own kind. Quite an about face. First of all, I did not imprison her. She found me. It was her destiny. Yeah, sure. Get to the second of all. Why are you helping her? Because she is a danger. A mortal one. You look at her and see a human. A ward. A daughter, even. I look and see the Elder Blood. A power that can destroy the world. A power that must be kept from Eredin's power-addled hands at all costs. Admittedly, our motives differ. Yet in spite of that, we share a goal. So, you would be wise to trust me. Or at least try. We found the Sunstone. Gelban's gift to Dillion of the White Fleet. As legend has it, she never used the stone, and Gelban died of sorrow. Won't keep Aridin waiting that long. It seems we've everything. We can go. Keep in mind, once we commit, there'll be no returning. I'm ready. High time we set sail. Undvik awaits. In that case, let's go. You will position yourselves on the cliffs. Here, here, and... Thank you. I believe we know how to form a circle. Even those of us who lack eyes for the moment. I simply wish to avoid... Oh, Geralt. We were waiting for you. That's nice of you. You were about to explain your plan? It's simple. Which does not mean it will be easy to execute. I shall activate the Sunstone. If Caranthia answers the call, the Nagel Fair should appear in the bay shortly afterwards. The Lodge must then prevent the ship from returning to the world of the NL, while the Imperial fleet blocks its escape by sea. The 7th Imlet's Infantry Regiment under Duke Varatra must then board it, with your help, naturally. Wow. Amir's being generous with his resources. He's halted his entire Skellige campaign to help us. 
Not doing it just to be nice, believe me. He's doing it for the same reason we all are. Ladies and gentlemen, less talk, more action, please. Sisters, we must scale the cliffs. Good luck. Plan's missing one important element. What about Siri? Cyril will wait, at a safe distance from the Nagel Fair. Wild guess? Not what you had in mind. No. I wanted to go with you. That was my idea. But I won't allow it. Far too great a risk. Don't have the right to order her around. Amusing. Zirel said the same thing, only at much higher volume. I do, in fact, have this right. For only I know how to activate the Sunstone, which I shall do on my terms or not at all. Zirel recognized the strength of my argument. I have no doubt you'll do the same. Zirel. Do you swear to stay on shore? Do I have a choice? Where are you going? For a walk. Or is that not allowed either? Because I could break my leg. Oh yes. The elder blood can be fiery. Telling Siri she can't do something is counterproductive, speaking from experience there. Ultimately, she does what she wants. Let us hope. Pardon me? Never mind. Time is short. If you wish to do something, brew your substances or whatnot, do it now. You won't get the chance later. I shall await you by the boats, amongst the soldiers. Unless you wish to come with me now. No time to lose. Sooner we get this done, the better. Follow me. Give you my heart? What kind of spell is that? It's an old love letter. Ancient. As I said, this stone was to reunite a pair of lovers. Never thought I'd say anything of the sort to Eredin. En verilith serenad, ada eich blain, ida mei. Elven bauble worked. They approach. Follow me. The knuckle 
welfare must be nearby. It's a trap. We must flee, now. Not this time. No, there. You are not ready. You do not control your powers. I'll manage. Silly. Get out of my way. Silly! The ice. It's a spell. You must find the mage who cast it. Destroy his staff. I'll not stop with his staff. Almost, Sila. Almost. Scathiard.
Any last words? I get trapped. Fight. You had your chance. I was hoping you'd come. Because? I've something to tell you. But I'll do so afterwards. As you expire.
against each other, and he is made off with Cyrilla. I don't believe you. Tomes are to be believed. Nature's laws will cease to hold. Gravity, time, Undvik, all of it will be turned on its head. Exaggerating for effect, right? Not one bit. The conjunction of spheres has begun. The worlds, they're aligned, permeate one another. Avalar could use this. Bring the NL here, or something far worse. Follow me, and stay alert. We need to focus on Ciri. What do you think Avalok wants from her? Same as Eredin, I imagine. He will use her to open a gate between the worlds. 